To get a vehicle ready, you will need to open the program, open IV and drag the car to there. From here you will need to find the stream files labeled at .yft and the .meta files. Extract these files to a folder you will be using as resource template. I'm actually creating a new template, so you can follow along. To build a resource file, you need a FX manifest, so I am copying the one from my C rescue vehicles and will paste it in my new template. Then you create two new folders, they will be called stream and data. I will additionally make more folders within these two folders just to keep things organized when I'm adding multiple vehicles. You can stream multiple vehicles from a single resource template as drag and drop. All the .meta files will go into the data folder. All the other files, .yft and ytd will go into the stream folder. From here you can ensure the resource on your server and start it. Some vehicles will have a stream warning. This means the textures used on this car can cause performance issues, but we can fix this. I will post the link in the description below, I use paint.net as it's free and easy to use. You can download it from the official site and by clicking on the image and closing the ad. From here we drag the .yft file back to open ivy and we will try to open the file. Now we can see the textures being used. We will export all these textures as a direct draw or DTS to an empty folder. You can now proceed to your new folder, I like to arrange these textures by size so I can optimize them. Twenty one point three megabyte is rather large, so we will open this on paint.net and we will reduce the resolution size of this image. Yes that's basically it, follow along to see.
From here we will import them back into OpenIV. After saving, you can drag and drop to replace the original YTD file. After restarting your server, the vehicle will now be highlighted in blue, this means that the vehicle will stream optimally and will cause zero performance issues.